How's it going everybody? I am back with yet another short and to the point guitar and chords tutorial. Today it's free throw with tongue tied. All right, so this one's definitely going to be a little bit longer of a video for sure because I want to try to show all the parts at least from what I can tell. All right, first of all, you need to know the free throw tuning, which is E, G sharp, B, F sharp, B, and D sharp. Um, when you have a, uh, it's just like the uh, American football uh, never meant tuning, all right? A half step down. So their tuning is F, A, C, G, C, E. So you're just gonna do the same strings, just a half step down. This song's gonna have a capo on the second fret. So your guitar should basically sound like this when it's open. All right, so if I can remember all these parts, this is gonna be tricky um, because it's a really involved song and it's, it's harder than you know, some of their other stuff. So, um, in the beginning, we have this cool little arpeggio. It's going to be 4th fret, 2nd fret, open on the D string, or in this case, the B string, all right? So we're just going to pick it that way. Then you're going to change the picking here. See, I'm kind of hitting the high E, you know, more frequently there. Now that's the intro, then we have this cool uh, lead lick coming in. So um, that's actually really similar to Pallet Town, by the way. Same idea. So from the capo, uh, the fret relative to the capo, one, two, three, four, five, five open, three open and then a 2-4-2 two, two open slide on the B string. On the last time, you can just hit the B string once. So you're going to do that a couple times, and then it's going to come in with another layer that goes like this. Something like that. Like, I, I don't know the exact picking pattern, but I could definitely hear. Like, some tension there. It's definitely like another layer in there. So then um, the rhythm stuff is going to be basically open on the bottom two strings, second fret, and then four and three, and then up to seven, seven. So that's the rhythm part. Again, you got all that stuff going on. That's the first verse, right? So you got that going on two times that and the rhythm. Then on the third and fourth time, you got the layer. Okay, so then it's gonna do um, the bass and vocal part. So uh, th basically the chords are open and then four and three and then two and two, and then open, and then four and three, up to seven, seven. And then when the band kicks in, it's gonna be open, two, four and three, back to two, open, two, four and three, up to seven. And then this time it's gonna be back and forth again. And on this last time, bass solo right so all this stuff I was practicing this like five or six times just to make sure that I had everything right so the bass solo is gonna do that thing with the drums and then we're gonna call this a riff variation which you're gonna hear exactly the same at the end of the song as a layer so this riff variation is gonna go that's the first half so I'm gonna break this up a little bit all right 5030 on the high E, and then uh, just like you did before, but then you're gonna double up on the 2O on the B string there, and then you're gonna go 
two four two O on the G string. Okay, so that's the first half again. So hang on, just so I don't get you confused. Now this part's a little weird. From what I can tell, I think it's two four to two, two four on the D string, and then hitting the G string on the second fret, and then um, I think it's gonna go two four two zero on D right after that, and then the same thing on G two four two zero, and then two four open on the B. So that riff is gonna play twice. Again, I know how confusing that is because it took me like a few practices to try it. Uh, I think that's what that is. Now, underneath that, you're going to have... Oh, how did that go? Hold on. <laughs> there was another layer in there. Uh, I think it was I forget the exact rhythm of it, but it sounded uh, from what I um, remember two on D four on D open G and then you're going to do open open four on the high E the B and then the G string. I just don't remember the the rhythm there. So all that's going on while this is going on. Um, right? Crazy. <laughs> and then underneath that, you know, you're basically going to have that open uh, chord ringing out. And then I think they're going to go back into the... Um, the verse, or, you know, the main uh, stuff from before. Oh, no, I'm sorry. The staccato riff comes in next. That's this one. So you got that. And then that's where it drones out a little bit. So that's going to go on for a long time. And underneath those, uh, underneath that part, the chords are open and then you got your four three again and then you got your two two you got that again it's just kind of going back and forth and as the song gets into the outro it's just going to be these two chords and then you're going to hear this come back Like, it took me a lot of listening to get this in detail, and I wanted to kind of figure out all the parts that I could, that I could, uh, you know, just make out. This is going on a lot in the background to add some extra tension, especially during this chord progression. I love this band so much. I've been listening to them so much lately. So uh, yeah, definitely this video was a lot longer than I anticipated. I try to keep these basically under seven minutes, under five minutes even. But when it comes to a song that has this many parts, it's definitely uh, it's going to take a while to uh, teach. So um, if you found this video helpful, if you're a free throw fan, please smash that like button, give it a thumbs up, help me break through the godforsaken algorithm. Please subscribe, ring the notification bell. Um, if you want to see more content like this, I take special requests, leave a comment. If you can't figure out a song by ear, if you, if you can't find tab for it, uh, give me like a day or two and I will do a custom video for you trying to get my name out there, trying to get my channel out there more. And this is a great way to do it because I love these songs so much. And any fans of this, you know, these bands are like friends of mine, you know, just by default. So, uh, let me know what you think. 
again, thanks so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Um, hope you're having a great week and weekend and uh, stay safe, stay healthy, be kind always, pay it forward. I will see you in the next tutorial. Thanks again.